Welcome back to Bazooka Kickboxing and MMA. Today's episode powered by Hayabusa. It's all about punch feints to head kick knockouts. All right, in today's episode, we're breaking down punch feints to head kick knockouts. It's a very important conversation because we've seen some of the best knockouts this year come out with this type of concept. The first one you can talk about is that Leon Edwards versus Kamaru Usman knockout, where it was that one, two, bang, head kick. This last glory, I'm just back from France. We've seen Nordin Mahadin get a beautiful knockout off of an exit using the punch to head kick style. But a beautiful one and a different style one I want to talk about today is the way Tiffany Van Seuss set up her head kick knockout with her lead side and the jab. So let's get into the, the details of this concept. Now, the first one we're going to work on is what we're going to call the Leon Edwards, right? So with the Leon Edwards, what you want to do is before you faint any technique, you have to throw the technique, otherwise there's no threat. So you have to show what the threat is. You almost want them to bite on these punches. So all of these, those who got knocked out from this concept, started to over parry and that's a big mistake that's why when you parry you don't want to go cross your center line when i start seeing people parrying past the center line that's where it starts opening because once you get fainted you're parrying down here and that's when you're getting knocked out you're biting on the faint too hard and then you get knocked out with that head kick so the first one the one two so like i said you have to throw the threat before they become fainted or get scared and to have to over parry so i throw a hard one two here <clears throat> I get them comfortable with it. I might throw the one, two again. Ready here? So, <clears throat> I'm starting to sit on it. Now at this point, they're starting to over parry or I'm witnessing the over parrying. And this is when I set up that head kick. Now, it's an off beat. There's the big mistake with this style would be to reset. So let me give you the wrong way which it would not work. Because remember, it's a split second from this over parry to up, right? I don't have much time to get that head kick. So timing and rhythm of the one, two head kick is the most important part. So if I do a slow return and a slow head kick, it'll look like this. One, two, come back, boom, right? It can be done fast, but let's be honest, at the highest level, they've exited, they've left. The way I, and reason I would use this style, the slower one, is say I throw the one, two, and Matt exits, right? I might use the gallop to close my distance before I attack. So that's what I use the gallop for. One, two, I see the exit, I gallop, boom, and I'm going to get that knockout off of the exit. That's if they're moving back really fast. And this is kind of an example you've seen from that Nordin Mahadeen knockout at Glory, right? The punch was over here and then he was still able to catch the chin with his instep on the exit. That's why it's very important. Whether they hard parry or they exit and they think they're safe, that's why this kick is so beautiful in this timing. But the way I want you to train it is gonna be one, two, head kick, faster rhythm and timing, okay? So I'm gonna set it up one more time because I always want you to get in the mindset of setting up the feints, setting up the feints, setting up the feints, okay? I can't repeat that enough. So the one, two comes, boom, boom. And then this is where I throw that offbeat rhythm, ready? So I go one faint, boom. See how fast that is now. This became the faint and they thought the one two was there because I just threw it. One more time, so I go one. As this comes, I faint the punch. The head kick comes right behind my rear hand. Okay, I'll put it together at full motion. Set up first, right? So <clears throat> one, two, and then shoot, boom. Bang, fast, one more time. Set up two, one, two, and then I go one, boom. boom fast and effective, okay? So that's what we're gonna call our Leon Edwards set up for the punch faint to head kick KO. Now let's break down that Tiffany Van Seuss one. Now this one I love, this one is unique, it's different, and one of the things I like about Tiffany Van Seuss style is she's very creative with her setups and her feints, her angles. So let's talk about how it happened and how you can use it and practice it. Now this one here was set up with a jab instead of the rear hand. So in the fight, Tiffany threw the hard jab, boom, came back to a shell here. Then what happened is Musadak, her opponent, threw the jab, Tiffany evaded. So they thought they were getting into this jab fight, right? So at this point now, Tiffany threw the jab, got the faint parry, where all of a sudden Musadak's hand went down, and then the head kick came up, okay? So again, for example, Matt throws the jab, Sarah overthrew and overparried which left this head kick to come on top. 
So let's set it up. I throw the jab here, hard, boom, okay? Manage my distance, then I feint it, and then I take a step, and then I let that front foot go, okay? Let me put it together a little bit more speed. Set up first, I hit it, and then from here, I feint, boom, okay? The key is to get that kick, this back foot needs to come up. I can't get this head kick without kind of bringing my back foot up. If I feint like this, you realize I'm too long and I don't have that technique. So you almost have to be aware that when you're jabbing here on that feint, your feet are closing the distance at the same time. Let me do it slower, then I'll build it with some speed. So I throw the jab first, boom. And then I feint my jab, see how my foot kind of came under me, boom. Yes, and it comes quicker. So let's put it with some speed now. Pop the jab, boom. And then I feint the jab, bang, all right? One more time, jab first, boom. Then watch it, feint the jab, bang. Okay, see it's boom. I almost jab feint as this foot comes here. Boom, and then I can get that attack. So bringing the back foot up. So if I were to do this in a drill as an advanced fighter, I like to practice both sides. You can pick one, pick two, and do both of them. It's up to you, but if you're an advanced fighter, practice both. Set up before head kick, so let's go here. So one, two, first, set it up, boom, boom, and then I put it together, bam, boom. Then I'll pop my jab here, boom, and then I faint it, bang, and I get that nice quick head kick knockout, all right? This is getting a lot of good knockouts. We're seeing almost every knockout of the year, any fight organization, it's with this kind of setup, rhythm, and timing, okay? Very important, as you can see, it's been amazing using that, right? So. What you're gonna do is you're gonna make sure you like, subscribe, and share Bazooka Kickboxing, because I just gave you a big gem here today for you to practice. Make sure you support the channel by supporting our sponsors. We got Hayabusa by going to Hayabusa Fight, linked in the description below. We got Perfect Sports Nutrition, where you get all your supplements. That's linked below. If you use code Bazooka20, you can get a 20% discount off of them. And last but not least, bazookatraining.com, online curriculum taught by me, brand new videos every single week, and they're divided into different areas. We have bag workouts, home workouts, sparring, drills, tutorials, all for you to learn. Brand new videos every week. But the best part, less than $10 a month to get all these videos. It's amazing. So what I always say, these YouTube videos are good. They give you a little bit of the details, but if you really wanna dive into my curriculum, my learning, my structure, head over to bazookatraining.com. We'll see you next time. Boom! Welcome to Bazooka Kickboxing and MMA Online Training. I'm Bazooka Joe Valtellini, the owner here at Bazooka Kickboxing and MMA. Over the past year, I've designed and created a website to teach Bazooka curriculum at home and across the world. The purpose of this website is for you to one, hit your fitness and health goals, all while learning world-class martial arts instruction from me. The beautiful thing about this website, it's geared for all levels. So if you're learning martial arts for the first time as a beginner, we help you progress into the bigger stages. And if you're a pro fighter, guess what? We have different fight concepts for you to improve your tool set and your skills in the ring or cage. As the fastest rising kickboxing world champion and a lifelong martial artist with over 30 years of experience, I've been able to combine my passion for martial arts and teaching to create this website. This website's gonna give you some of the tricks, secrets, and inside look at some of the training I use to win my world title. Once you subscribe to this site, you're gonna be getting weekly training videos and tutorials that you can do from anywhere. The sections are broken up into three parts. The first is bag workout. So if you have a bag at home or at your gym, you can use these workouts to supplement your training. The second is at home workouts. A lot of us don't have the room for a bag or a bag in general, so these workouts are for no equipment needed and you can do them anywhere. And finally, the tutorial section. If you're having any problems with a specific technique or fight concept that's covered in any of the workouts, go to the tutorial section, learn the technique, and then go back to the workout, and this time, do it with proper technique. One of the added benefits once you subscribe is the forum section where you can get a more personalized experience where you can ask questions and I'll be able to go in there and answer them. It's all about building a team and a community of martial artists helping each other grow. So subscribe now to get access to all the videos plus more so you can be part of the squad here at Bazooka Kickboxing and MMA.